Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I am going to continue the solutions of uh, model question paper of paper set 1. I am going to discuss the mo module 5 questions in this video. So, consider the question number 9a. Using Runge Kuta method of order 4, solve d square y by dx square which is equal to y plus x dy by dx for z equal to 0 0.2 given that initial condition y of 0 equal to 1 y dash at 0 equal to 0. So, already I have discussed uh, uh, the content of uh, Runge Kuta method. I have made a separate video. You, you can uh, go through that video for in depth uh, concept of solving uh, Runge Kuta method. In the description, I am going to provide the link of that video. You can refer that video. So, consider the given problem. So, it is of uh, second order differential equation they have provided d square y by dx square which is equal to y plus x into dy by dx with initial condition. I have note down all the initial condition. Then go with the substitution, put dy by dx as z. So, also we can name that as y dash equal to z. Then differentiating on both the side with respect to x, we are going to get d square y by dx square which will be equal to dz by dx. So, but we have dy by dx can be written as f of x comma y comma z. Then the given differential equation becomes what? dz by dx as we have d square y by dx square as dz by dx which is equal to y plus x into z since z is nothing but what dy by dx which is nothing but whatever the right hand side is a function of g g is a function of x y z with initial condition we should uh, write down the initial condition y not will be equal to 1 z not will be equal to 0 x not equal to 0 x1 equal to 0.2. So, to find the value of h, we have x1 equal to x0 plus h and x1 value is 0.2, substitute this 0.2 which is equal to x0 value is 0, substitute that uh, value plus h. So, h will be equal to 0.2. What is this h means? It is a step size. Now, applying Runge Kuta method, we have y of z0 plus h is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 times of k1 plus 2 k2 plus k2 k3 plus k4. Let us, let us find out k1 k2 k3 k4. Also z of x0 plus h equal to z0 plus 1 by 6 times of l1 l2 uh, l1 plus 2 l2 plus 2 l3 plus l4. So, also we shall we should find out l1 l2 l3 l4. So, where k1 is given by h into f of x0 comma y0 comma z f is a function of z, f is always a function of z, f is always z, f is always z and g whatever we have defined g function has been defined as what you can note on that g is nothing but x or y plus xz, y plus xz, g is what y plus xz. So, knowing this and with the initial condition we can find out k1 as 0.2 into f of 0 comma 1 comma 0. So, here z0 value is 0. Substitute this value here. We are going to get 0.2 into 0 which is equal to 0. Similarly, find out l1 which is equal to h into g of x0 comma y0 comma z0. x0, y0, z0 will be remain same values that is 0 comma 1 comma 0. Here the function has been changed. The function is g is nothing but y plus xz put y0 value x0 value and z0 value. So, here y0 value is 1 and x x0 and z0 values are 0. So, therefore, 1 plus 0 will be 1. 1 into 0.2 is 0.2. That is what the value of L1. Similarly, find out k2. k2 value is h into f of x0 plus h by 2 comma y0 plus k1 by 2 comma z0 plus L1 by 2. Simplifying this, we are going to get x0, y0, z0 value that is 0 0.1, 1 and 0 0.1. Substituting these values in the given uh, whatever the function we have executed. So, 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 will be equal to 0 0.2 into this value that is 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.02. Now, similarly find out 0 0.2 into g of function. So, which is nothing but 0 0.2 into 1 plus 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 which will be equal to 0 0.202, name that as L2. Simultaneously, find out uh, K3 value, L3 value, K4 
फोर वैल्यू एल फोर वैल्यू देन सब्सिट्यूट दीज वैल्यूज इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला वाई ऑफ एक्स नॉट प्लस एच विल बी इक्वल टू वाई नॉट प्लस वन बाई सिक्स टाइम्स ऑफ के वन प्लस टू के टू प्लस टू के थ्री प्लस के फोर तो विच विल बी इक्वल टू वाई ऑफ पॉइंट टू विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो टू सिमिलरली फाइंड आउट जेड ऑफ पॉइंट टू जेड ऑफ पॉइंट टू इज पॉइंट टू जीरो फोर जीरो फोर तो दिस इज द वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग आर के मेथड प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन बी फाइंड दी एक्सटीमल्स ऑफ द फंक्शनल इंटीग्रल एक्स वन टू एक्स टू वाई स्क्वायर प्लस वाई डैश वोल स्क्वायर प्लस टू वाई ई फोर एक्स डी एक्स कंसिडर दी गिवन प्रॉब्लम एज आई इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल एक्स वन टू एक्स टू वाई स्क्वायर प्लस वाई डैश वोल स्क्वायर प्लस टू वाई ई फोर एक्स डी एक्स सो वट एवर द इंटीग्रांड टर्म इज देर नेम दट इंटीग्रांड एज एफ ऑफ एक्स कामा वाई कामा वाई डैश सो वी हैव रेप्रेजेंटेड एफ ऑफ एक्स कामा वाई कामा वाई डैश एज y square plus y dash whole square plus 2 y e power x. Then by Euler's equation or Euler's equation, which is nothing but del f by del y minus d by dx of del f by del y dash equal to zero. So we should differentiate partially f with respect to y and partially f with respect to y dash. We are going to get 2 y plus 2 e power x minus d by dx of 2 y dash equal to zero. So Simplifying this, we are going to get y plus e power x minus d by dx of d by dx is d square y by dx square, which is nothing but y double dash equal to zero. So therefore, it is y double dash minus y equal to e power x. We are required to solve this differential equation now. D square minus one on y equal to e power x. Now finding out y c and y p. So y c to find out y c, write down what is the auxiliary equation. It is m square minus one equal to zero. Therefore, m will be equal to plus or minus one. So y c is c one e power x plus c two e power minus x. Y p will be equal to e power x divided by d square minus one. Replace d by one. Since uh, how we got the value of one is the coefficient of x in exponential function. So replace d by one. We are going to get x e power x divided by two. So sum of uh, y c and y p component will be an the general solution of y. Moving on to nine c question, find the path on which a particle in the absence of friction will slide from one point to another point in a uh, in the shortest time under the action of gravity. This problem is on Broca-Stick uh, problem method. So I have discussed this uh, problem separately. Uh, you can go through that uh, video. i am going to give the link in the description you can refer that uh, video and it is an very important problem for your examination study properly moving on to question number 10a apply milne's method to solve the second order de at x equal to 0 given that y of 0 equal to 1 y of 0.1 equal to 1.1103 y of 0.2 equal to 1.2427 y of 0.3 equal to 1.399 y dash of zero equal to one. y dash of point uh, one equal to one point two one zero three. y dash of point uh, two equal to one point four four two seven. y dash of point three equal to one point six nine nine. So now, whatever we have studied the method in Runge Kutta method, so same thing will be followed for some extent. So putting y dash will be equal to dy by dx. That will be equal to z. And y double dash will be equal to d square y by d x square, which is equal to d z by d x. Therefore, the given equation becomes d z by d x equal to one plus z, or z dash will be equal to one plus z. Coming to know that uh, what is uh, d z by d x and d square y by d x square. Now construct the table. So this these values are given, and we are uh, naming uh, y dash as z. And y double dash will be equal to z dash. So we have, have listed the values of uh, z and z dash. We can note down that uh, values. Then we can find out the predicted value called y four p, which will be equal to y naught plus four h by three times of two z one minus z two plus two z three. So y naught value is what one, and h value is what point one four into point one divided by three. Into two times of z1 value minus z2 value plus two times of z3 value. Substitute all these values. 
we are going to get y4 predictor as 1.5835 now find out uh, z4 predictor which is given by z4 plus 4h by 3 times of 2z1 dash minus z2 dash minus z3 dash so substitute all the values then we are going to get z4 plus 1.935 y4 character is equal to y2 plus h by 3 times of z2 plus 4 z3 plus z4 substituting all the values we are going to get 1.2427 plus 0.1 divided by 3 times of 1.4427 plus 4 times of 1.699 plus 1.935 so simplify after simplification i am going to get y4 character as 1.5834 now let us find out uh, z4 character so z4 character is given by the formula z4 plus h by 3 times of z2 dash plus 4 z3 dash plus z4 dash so here we should know the value called z4 dash so we are required to find out that z4 dash is equal to 1 plus z4 predictor so as we know that uh, the predicted value is 1.9835 substitute that value we are going to get 2.9835 find out z4 character i am going to get the answer as 1.98344 so this is the way to solve by Milne's predictor method. Moving on to question number 10b. Find the extremals of the functional integral x1 to x2 y dash whole square divided by x cube dx. So consider the given problem as i. Then compare this i with the, uh, the given problem. Uh, compare this i with integral x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash dx. Therefore, f of x comma y comma y dash is equal to y dash whole square whole divided by x cube. Now, we know that uh, the necessary condition for the functional to be an extremum is del f by del y minus d by dx of del f by del y dash will be equal to 0. Now, considering uh, the partial derivative of this, uh, that we are going to get del by del y of y dash whole square divided by x cube minus d by dx of del by del y into y dash whole square whole divided by x cube so which is equal to 0 so 0 minus d by dx of 2 y dash whole divided by x cube so which is equal to 0 so therefore we are going to get y uh, d into d uh, we are going to get d by dx of 2 y dash whole divided by x cube will be equal to 0 integrating on both the side we are going to get integral of d by dx of 2y dash into x cube so which is will be equal to c1 so after simplifying this we are going to get 2y dash equal to x cube c1 so y dash will be equal to x, uh, c1 x cube divided by 2 so finally dy by dx will be equal to c1 by 2 x cube and dy will be equal to c1 by 2 x cube dx now as the variables are being separated you can directly integrate this so after integration we are going to get y equal to c1 by c2 times of x power 4 by 4 moving on to question number 10 c find the curve on which the functional integral 0 to pi by 2 y dash whole square plus 12 x y dx with y of 0 equal to 0 and y y of pi by 2 equal to 0 can be extremized using these initial condition is it extremized let us see uh, given i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 y dash whole square plus 12 x y dx name the uh, given integrand as f of x comma y comma y dash we are going to get y dash whole square plus 12 x y so we know that uh, the necessary condition for the functional to be attain extremum is del f by del y minus d by dx of del f by del y dash equal to 0 Substituting all these uh, partial derivatives, we are going to get y double dash equal to 6x. Now, integrating on both the side with respect to x, we are going to get y double dash equal to integral of 6x plus c1. y dash will be equal to 6 times of x square by 2 plus c1. After simplification, y dash can be written as dy by dx 3x square plus c1. So now separating the variables we are going to get uh, dy equal to 3x square plus c1 dx again on integration we are going to get the required result as 
y equal to x cube plus c1 x plus c2 name that as equation 1 now by using the initial condition i need to eliminate the value of c and c2 given y of 0 equal to 0 that is y at uh, y equal to 0 at x equal to 0 so therefore equation 1 becomes what 0 plus 0 c1 into 0 plus c2 so you are left out with c2 equal to 0 and y of pi by 2 equal to 0 so when y equal to 0 and x equal to pi by 2 equation 1 implies 0 equal to pi by 2 whole cube plus c1 pi by 2 plus 0 so we are going to get pi by 2 c1 equal to minus pi cube by 8 so finally c1 will be equal to minus pi square by 4 so finally we are left out with y equal to x cube minus a uh, pi square by 4 x is the required solution for the problem by using uh, by using extremals this is the way to solve the following problems if you have any doubts regarding this uh, module you can put a comment and if you like this video uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel and press like button thank you all for watching this video